woke up and it was finally part 365. And I was woken up by this alarm clock with a cup of coffee. Each night, you just add water, coffee, and milk in the refrigerator, set the alarm, and you're woken up to freshly made coffee that's just waiting to be enjoyed before you get out of bed. But I was feeling a little off, so I decided to check how I slept the night before. This pad goes under the mattress and tracks everything from sleep depth to length to heart rate to how many times you've snored. Hmm, seems like I shouldn't have a reason to complain. But best of all, it can sync the sleeping pad with all these lights and even a smart thermostat. The lights and temperature will turn up when you get out of your bed in the morning and will adjust your settings when you lie down at night. The smart lights have countless themes to choose from and with this Philips box, the lights can even mirror the action on your screen and dance, flash, dim, and brighten to create a truly immersive entertainment experience. You can even connect the lights directly to your PC and mirror any content you're watching there as well. But before I knew it, it was lunchtime and it was time to eat. I made Nutella ice cream with the help of this genius book put a couple of drops to help prevent a wine headache, but not even the wine could help calm my nerves. Will part 365 be good enough? And that's when I was zapped by this Pavlok habit trainer to remind me to stop biting my nails. If you need to break bad habits, this just might be your solution. I then decided to go outside and look back at all the videos I've featured in the past year. But I was tired of always using my bed sheets, so I decided to pick up this giant inflatable projection screen. I took out a hammock, but does anyone else hate having to constantly make it swing? Kind of defeats the purpose of relaxing, doesn't it? This little gadget attaches to this frame of your hammock stand and will automatically rock you side to side so you can relax without having to do any actual work. I use this little gadget to connect my iPhone to the projector, grab some snacks, put up my TikTok, checked out one of the funniest content creators, and decided to go back to where it all began. Along the way, I featured some pretty unique things, everything from a self-stirring pot to a wearable keyboard to a massive shower head. I put a bunch of things in places they simply don't belong, mispronounced words one too many times, added to your Sweefer mop, and played hide and seek with an engagement ring and a $10 bill with all of you. And in one year, not only did this channel grow to two and a half million, but even my Instagram reached numbers I never thought would be possible. And I want to thank you guys so much for every single person that gives this channel a follow. I am truly, truly grateful. Now, I don't want to shed a tear here in part 365. So I put on these spectacle glasses that have two cameras on the sides that allow you to record the world from your perspective. I went to the store, finally put my $10 to use, put the ring back where it belongs and made my way home. I locked my phone to take a break from posting touch this live plant to play some music, tap my friendship lamp that allows you to stay connected to long distance friends and family, open the final product of part 365, use my last ounce of energy to hit, bash, and smash it, and after 365 days, I decided to finally lie down on the seven foot giant bean bag and take a break.